So, in 2020, I discovered a YouTuber named Woody Meyer and um, made me fall in love with Africa. I saw Africa in a way that normally West Indians don't see Africa. So I'm like, yo, this, this thing look promising. So I start diving to YouTubers and watching both positive and negative about different countries. So anyways, um, I feel a calling towards East Africa. Now I'm West Indian and the whole slave trade thing, so I'm supposed to be feeling West Africa, but not really feeling it. Um, I want to visit one day, but right now, East Africa seems to be um, where I'm looking at. Plus, I was named after an East African um, president. So, you know, so might as well I try. I go and live up to my name. Anyways, um, so I've been doing some research and I said, you know what? I'm looking at Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, and Tanzania. Tanzania because that's where my I was named after. My father met this Tanzanian president who visited Jamaica many, many years ago. And that's how I got my name. So anyways, yeah, so... I said, I want a piece of land. So I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and everybody's like, don't buy land online. But from watching Woody Meyer, he interviewed this guy in Kenya. You now the guy in Kenya is a reputable news person. He's very popular in Kenya. Then I saw him do an interview with a company in Kenya that's selling land. So I said, okay, I don't think this guy would put his name on something that is that would be considered um fraud so anyways i have researched the company i couldn't find anything negative about the company nothing at all so that's okay fine so i made a purchase um i found a kenyan to partner with me for one because i had I, as a non-kenyan i cannot buy land in kenya so i need a kenyan partner so i had to register a company in kenya and i bought a piece of land and um yeah i will keep you guys updated and let you know how it goes when it comes to the company though i was able to register for a e kenyan online thing for the government and i was able to see my company with my name registered so that part of it is at least true that i have a company registered in kenya so i'm waiting to see when the titles show up in the mail then i will go along to the kenyan land registry and do a search to see if i actually own the land but um, I'm looking to go to Kenya in November and um, I'll do some more videos about my time in Kenya.